Today, we're going to be attempting to beat the Vortex boss in Balloons Tower Defense 6 with the random projectiles mod. So, let's see if we can win with completely random projectiles. Well, as you can see, we do have the Elite and the Normal mode. Of course, we're going to be starting with the Normal mode. And this boss balloon looks really scary. I have not taken on this boss yet. And it looks like we're going to be on Adora's Temple, medium standard. So, let's see if we can beat it. Now, as all of our projectiles are going to be completely random, we really have to be careful with what towers we put down and okay this is great but it's also not great because as you can see we are not popping everything so let's put a ninja down no this isn't popping anything either okay there we go finally we do have an upgrade that actually pops stuff but this is absolutely amazing. We have our first money-making talent. So let's go for the advanced targeting and let's go for the faster barrel spin. And this is the type of upgrades that you do not want to see. We want to see stuff like the Sun Temple Plasma, not Red Hot Grapes. But it is damage dealing. Let's get some more upgrades. Let's get the faster swift. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is the Bull Lightning from the Druid. And this thing is absolutely amazing. I feel like this should be able to take on the Vortex boss, the first phase just by itself and look at our money as well we have forty one thousand dollars from all of these darling guys okay this is going insanely well well guys i think i found another really broken upgrade as you can see this darling gun is shooting i believe this is the fifth tier boomerang upgrade is shooting these boomerangs and they are exploding i think on round 40 this is going to absolutely destroy the vortex well i think it is time we get one of the most fast firing towers in the entire game of course the soup monkey and i think we're going to put it at the top right here we're also going to get the range for it i really want to see what the super monkey can do because it shoots so fast and if we get really good projectiles it's amazing and it looks like for now this is not bad at all it's shooting out obin's projectile i believe well let's get the laser blast on this super monkey we have okay wait that's doing absolutely nothing this no this is doing absolutely nothing okay well let's go for the super range and okay that is a lot better it's not amazing but it is lead popping power which is pretty cool but bombs aren't exactly what we want so let's get the epic range and the, oh wait are those cluster bombs so first we had the regular bombs now we have literally cluster bombs maybe even the recursive cluster that is insane that is super powerful okay yeah i'm pretty sure that's the fourth tier bomb well i think it is about time that we get rid of these dartling guns they have done their job they have made me so much money you can see the ninja is absolutely insane look at that but let's get our exploding glaives one back there we go we have to be ready because in only nine rounds the vortex boss is going to come and it is going to be fast i think it's the fastest boss balloon and it also speeds up the regular balloons as well so we really have to be prepared for that so now that i think about it if we put a sniper up here there we go this thing is going to have infinite map range which is really good and it also has some really fast firing upgrades as well well it looks like our camera detection is kind of just this ninja right now which is not good <laughs> we really have to get more camera detection. maybe i could put a village down in the middle here and hopefully that would give our towers camera detection. only seven rounds until the vortex okay let's get some more fast firing okay wait we got a glue sniper i mean that's not that good against the boss balloon but it's still pretty cool you know what i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna have a glue sniper that's definitely gonna help against the regular balloons but we need to get a more powerful sniper than that guys well let's try and get camera detection on the sniper and then let's go for the fast firing one wait oh my god okay this sniper is shooting out centuries there we go there is the vortex boss now hopefully oh my god we're doing so much damage look at the skull count that is insane that was literally two seconds now it does have a shield up but it doesn't even matter we are going through the shield i'm pretty sure this dartling gun yeah you can see it's doing a lot of damage we have pushed it back to the very beginning i can't even see it now i can't even see it we are doing so much damage and of course this is the one star vortex it only has twenty thousand health but when we get to the fifth tier on, I believe, round 120, it is going to be so much more difficult. But for the first phase, that was absolutely ridiculous. We destroyed it. Now, we have to wait 19 rounds until the next one. So hopefully, we can find some better upgrades. Oh, my God. That heli pilot. Can you see? You can just about see it is shooting at bananas as well. Now, it's obviously not as good as the darling. Oh, maybe it is. I mean, it doesn't shoot quite as fast, but it does shoot two bananas at once. That's really good, but it's not damaging anything. So I think we need to look at more upgrades. Well, of course, let's go for the quad darts and the pursuit let's see if this is doing any good oh my god no way so first it made the bananas but now on pursuit it oh wait those are those are ceramics that's kind of scary those are fortified ceramics but they're not scary when you have these ninjas and this op super monkey but this thing is dropping crates of 375 
Guys, we have Camo Stramix on this round, and it is starting to get scary. Of course, these ninjas are basically, two, yeah, they're two-shotting the Camo Stramix, but I think it is time to get a village. So let's get the radar scanner, and let's also see, oh my god, $80,000. Well, seeming as we have nearly $350,000, I think it is time that we go for a fifth tier. And of course, what better fifth tier to get than the map? Wait, was that a flamethrower? Wait, I have to see that again. Did you guys see that? Okay, let's go for the rocket storm again. Look at this. I mean, I it's not a fifth tier like the mad. In fact, I think the mad is considerably worse than this one. But look, that is awesome. It is shooting out a flamethrower. Okay, anyway, let's sell this. We got the mad right here. It's not very good. It's just shooting out spikes and stuff. And also, as you can see, we are demolishing these mobs. I think we are prepared enough for two rounds, the next vortex. Anyway, let's get the fastest swivel on this thing. Oh my god, no. This is this is even more OP than the regular mag. Guys, look at this. This is the fifth tier tank shooter, the Inferno Ring projectile, the fireball. Look how much damage this thing does. Okay, maybe not quite as good as the mad, but this is one of the best projectiles we could have gotten. And this thing just looks awesome. And we got two rounds until the vortex. Guys, I think we're gonna absolutely destroy it. There is no way this defense is bested by the level two vortex. Well, we do have camel leads on this round, but we do, of course, have the camo village let's just get this upgrade as well and yeah we're absolutely fine against camos now which is definitely nice and there we go there is the level two and it has 62,000 health it is definitely a lot faster than the other bosses and oh no my map projectiles are getting stopped by the temple but it doesn't even matter i've locked this startling in place and oh my god it is getting absolutely annihilated however the next boss phases are going to be a lot more difficult because, of course, they're going to have considerably more health. But for this phase, at least, as you can see, it is barely getting anywhere. Yeah, this Dartling Gun is way too OP. And just like that, we have popped the tier two. We have three more tiers to go. Let's see if we can get to round 120 and beat the fifth tier. Well, we have a lot of ceramics on this round, on round 63. But, of course, we are absolutely annihilating them. However... I think it is about time that we get the tank shooter. Now, the tank shooter is a tower that shoots out a lot of projectiles. So let's see if we can get some good upgrades for this thing. Well, it looks like the tank shooter is shooting out the Dartling Gun projectile. And actually, it is one-shotting zebras. Wait, this is only a 200 tank shooter. If it's one-shotting zebra balloons, this could be the fifth tier projectile of the Dartling Gun, the shotgun one, which is pretty awesome. And oh my god, I can't believe this. We got, we just got the range, the long range right. And it's even better than the Dartling Gun projectile. As you can see, it is not that fast, but it is shooting out lots of Sun Temple projectiles. And this is absolutely amazing. Well, I just got the Blade Shooter and this thing looks even more awesome. I mean, it's not doing quite as much damage, but for just a Blade Shooter, this thing is crazy good. And this is why the Random Projectiles mod is so crazy. Because look at this, we got the fifth tier Tank Shooter right now it's just shooting out lasers it's considerably worse than the second tier we've also got a bfb on this round but as you can see we are absolutely demolishing it with our defense we're not even having to use our dartling gunner guys i just got the overdrive the fourth tier of the tank shooter and look at this it is doing so much damage it's shooting out like green lightning i think that may be from the new hero if you can see it well i think it is time we do go for the tag zone it's only twenty thousand dollars we still have three hundred and forty four thousand dollars we're near Oh, wait, that is awesome. Oh my god, that, that looks amazing. Now, I don't know if this is better than the regular tag zone, but I mean, it's still a decent projectile to get. If only it was like the fireball or something, but still, this is pretty good. Well, guys, I think I found the coolest looking tag shooter yet. Look at this tag shooter. It is shooting out flames. I mean, it's not doing that much damage, right? But it looks absolutely incredible. I mean, it's not doing terrible damage, like multiple hundreds. It seems to be much better against the balloons than the mobs. And as you can see, the third tier of the vortex is appearing in five rounds on round 80. We still have a long way to go, but I think we are going to be able to win. Well, I think I'm going to go for another sniper in the range of the village. So it does have a camera section. And let's go all the way to the full auto rifle. And look at this. Oh my God, it's shooting out lightning. Okay, that is absolutely amazing. I don't know if it's as good as the lightning balls, the druid projectile that we had on the Dartling Gunner. We have one round to go until the next level of the vortex. And I decided to get the OP Dartling Gun because I mean, just look at this thing. It is absolutely insane. It spawns bull lightnings all over the place, which of course 
spawn even more lightning, popping the balloons, doing big damage, and I think we're going to be able to destroy this. Look at this. I literally just got it. It already has over 3,000 pops. So let's speed this up. Let's get to the next level of the vortex, and let's see how easily we can take it down this time. Now, I'm assuming it does spawn from the left. Yeah, the left entrance. And okay, this thing has 294,000 health. Oh my god. Wait, that is a lot better than I was thinking. That is a lot more than I was thinking. Okay, I think we need to use this Dartling Gun, the Moab Domination one, because oh my, wait, there's, oh my god, it's speeding up the Moab so fast. Look at the BFB at the bottom right there. Okay, this is way more terrifying than I thought it would be. I think we have to get extra popping power right here. Guys, we have to be quick about this. I think we're gonna go, oh wait, okay, that's good. It does get sent back a lot, but we need more popping power. So I'm gonna go for Super Monkey, of course. Super Monkey is always good at popping. Let's go for the laser. Is it doing good? Wait, that's doing pretty good damage, but we need more damage. We need more damage. That's still good. Let's go for the sun app. Wait. Wait, 65? 65,000 pops. Wait, what did this Super Monkey do? Okay, our Tamas just got stunned for a second. Wait, did you guys just see that? Like, wait, what does this Super Monkey do? Okay, let's see its pop cam right here. As soon as the Vortex gets in range of this Super Monkey and it's not stunned, what does this Super Monkey do? Because, wait, look, what? It just jumped up to 125,000 pops instantaneously. I have no idea what this Super Monkey is doing. But apparently, the Sun Avatar is the most broken upgrade that we have yet. Because, okay, finally, it's still stunned. It's stunning it for absolutely ages. But look at the pop count on this thing, right? This is the level 3 Vortex. It just destroyed it instantly. Okay, what is this Sun Avatar doing? I mean, we popped the tier 3. Great, we got a Moab mine. That's awesome. $75, great. I mean, I have no idea. Oh, I see. It's the super mines. Of course, it's the super mines. Okay, that is absolutely insane. Okay, that is why it was doing so much damage. We have a sun avatar that shoots out the super mines. Now, whilst the super mines do hit camo, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think the sun avatar can actually see the camo balloons. So I'm going to get another village over here, but that is insane. The super mines. Whenever you get the super mines, you have to be thankful for the BTD gods because that is one of the best projectiles to get. But not only that, it is one of the most fast firing. It shoots three projectiles at once, right? At a ridiculous rate. So we're firing out like hundreds of super mines every few seconds, which is just way too OP. I also think it is time to start farming because we really want to afford upgrades like the true Sango Temple to see how bad they are. So, oh, we also have ZMGs on this round, but as you can see, the ZMGs, even without the super monkey even attacking them, yeah, they're getting destroyed. Okay, so now we have our army of darling guns. Let's buy another banana farm. Farmer. Let's put the banana farmer right here. And as you can see, yeah, our money is going up very, very quickly. Okay, we have DDTs, but as you can see, I mean, we're doing pretty good, right? These ninjas, wait, how many pops do these ninjas have? Remember, this is just a 100. It has 73,000 pops. And that one has 95,000. How come this one right here next to it has zero? And this one has 95,000. I'm not sure. How much does this have? Nearly 50,000 pops. That's pretty good. Okay, so. What I was thinking is, we should probably go for a boomerang, right? I rarely ever go for the... No way. Is that the perma spike? Is my boomerang monkey really shooting out the perma spike? Oh, that's just ridiculous. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a boomerang in every single corner. This is getting increasingly chaotic right now. But a perma spike is a perma spike, right? It, we've got the super mines and the perma spike in one video. That is just insane. I don't believe it. We just went for the bionic boomerang, right? Because it shoots faster. And it's shooting out the spiked mines. Now, it isn't the fifth tier. The super mines are like the super monkey. But still, this is insane. Why are we so lucky today? Literally, nothing's going to get past this, right? Absolutely nothing. We have fortified DDTs on this round, which otherwise would scare me. Oh, it's already over. <laughs> that was quick. Well, we're around 100 right now. And as you can see, 628,000 HP. That would normally be absolutely terrifying. And as you can see, it is literally blown back to the start instantly. That is so funny. As soon as it gets past, in fact, it could even just die on this spike part right here because there are still some there. Oh my god. We're down to nearly half health on this thing and it just keeps getting blown back. Yeah, I mean, this is the tier 4. It should be really difficult. It is speeding up all of the other balloons but right now, yeah, we, we are not struggling at all. Well, it's taken a couple of rounds to actually beat the Vortex and those DDTs are insane, by the way. Did you see how much it was speeding them up? But it looks like we popped the tier 4. We got, a, we got all of these things. We got a nice ninja monkey right there. And yeah, let's try and go all the way to 120. 
Oh no, I think, the, oh my god, the game nearly crashed. It was so close to crashing. I'm not sure what caused it to nearly crash right there, but I am not, oh my god, it literally froze for so long. I mean, there is a lot going on, right, that should not be happening. So, I guess let's just make more money, right, because I have to get to a million dollars. We have to, guys. A million dollars in the Vortex Challenge with the random projectiles. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go all the way. These realms are definitely getting significantly more difficult with all of the fortified CMGs and stuff. But it looks like we have a million dollars. We finally made it to a million. So I think we have to get the true Sun God Temple because I am so curious to see what this thing does. We already know the super mines from this third tier Sun God is absolutely insane. Let's get the temple sacrifice. I mean, it can't be too bad, right? As you can see, the temple is absolutely terrible. Look at it. I mean, it's not absolutely terrible, but for a temple, you would definitely expect more pops. So let's go for the ultimate half a million. The true Sun God Temple. Wait, wait. This thing's actually good. What is it? What is it shooting out? Is that something from the new hero? I am not sure, but look at it. Wait, it's pop count is actually good. I can't believe it. For the first time ever in one of these challenges, the true Sun God Temple is actually good. It got 60,000 pops in a couple of seconds. In fact, that may be even better than the regular true Sun God Temple. Maybe not with all the sacrifices and stuff, but for these challenges, it's normally terrible. Let's see what it does against the next round of AI. Yeah, look at this. It's absolutely annihilating everything apart from, of course, the camera balloons. But if I put a village there, it may pop. Yeah, look at this. It is amazing. It's going up so fast. I can't believe it. I don't know what it's shooting, but this is one of the best towers ever. I love it. Well, here is a bad balloon. Of course, we're going to be able to absolutely destroy this bad balloon. How many pops? Oh my God, 4 million pops. It's pretty good. Actually, the true Sun God Temple may be nearly as good as it. But anyway, we are one round away. We've got two bands on this round. One round away, we're about to face the final tier of the Vortex Boss Balloon on round 120. I mean, let's see what happens. Let's wait. We have three Babylons. Okay, the Babylons just keep on coming. I want to see that Vortex Boss though. I want to see how insanely fast we destroy this thing. And look at this two and a half million HP, the final tier of the Vortex Boss. And as soon as it gets to this sun monkey, yeah, it's, it's going to get absolutely destroyed. Maybe not. I mean, oh my god, that's so laggy. Look, look at this. Look at all the explosions. Oh, it did take a while to get blown back. But in like two seconds, oh my, it nearly gave it a million pops. That's insane. And as you can see, it is really speeding up these things. Actually, I'm kind of scared of DDTs, right? So let's actually get camera station on this Sun Temple as well. Just to make sure that we can defend against it. Look at this lag. It is so laggy, but it's instantly blown back. And it looks like I think we are going to be able to beat the final tier of the Vortex Boss Balloon. The balloons tried their hardest. It looks like it's to the final phase. It did try hard. It did have a lot of HP. It made everything extremely fast. But unfortunately, that does not matter for the most OP upgrade in the entire game in the history of the Randomizer series. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's see what we get for the rewards. It looks like we have finally popped it. Round 121 we got to. Let's see what we get for beating it. There we go. We have defeated the Vortex boss. Let's see. Okay, that was definitely not the rewards I was expecting. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.